Hi guys, I'm Marius. We're still in pandemic lockdown. I'm right here in my uh, my balcony. This is my playground. Uh, I'm brown belt in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, black belt in traditional Jiu Jitsu, and black belt in Judo. Uh, I'm in front of you to show you and to explain you the Uchikomi for uh, Seonage. Before I will do that, I have to let you know you have to do a proper warm up. So do like 10, 15 minutes of uh, very good warm up because you don't need, yeah, we don't need injuries. Uh, I will give you some examples. I will choose the, the soft, soft uh, resistance band. Make sure left and right are equal. In the end of the end of the resistance band, make the grip circle. I need two times. Depends about your uh, resistance band. Be careful. Uh, you have to have a good distance between you and the wall because you need the resistance band tension. Yeah. So you have to feel it. Yeah. It cannot be like this. At the same time, it cannot be like this, right? Because you need a good balance first of all, yeah? So let's do the, the warm up first, yeah? So let's start with the lower back. Let's warm up the lower back. Bend your knees, do this move. Yeah? Boom. So now we don't do the triceps, yeah? It's just the lower back warm up. This is the lower back. Okay? Next, let's do the triceps. So block the, the elbows. So extend the arm. Extend the arm. Same time, it's an isometric movement for the legs. Yeah, the approach. It's an isometric one. Maintain the, the tension and the posture. Now, biceps. Yeah, let's do the, the biceps warm. Move forward, backwards. Keep the posture, always look ahead, breathe. Breathe continuously, inhale from nose, exhale from mouth. Faster. Yeah, now the shoulders. One leg in front, boom, up. Okay, we are dance. Chest. Flies, yeah? When you do the flies, we can do reverse lunge as well to warm up the legs. Raise your arm forward. Our shoulders has to be very well warm. Do a very good warm up. Okay. Okay. Let let me explain you uh, the details. The details are always very important. The details make the difference, right? 
So, good tension, yeah? The distance between you and the, and the wall has to be very good to have very good tension. Now, also, uh, me for uh, Seo Enagi, yeah? So, as you know, Seo Enagi is this, right? Some of you know, especially the people who did the uh, practice judo. So, first, let me explain you, yeah, step by step. First step, yeah, here, right? This is a kuzushi, yeah, so you unbalance the opponent by pulling his lapel, yeah, pull his arm. The other arm, touch, you make this exercise easier and to flow. You touch with your for, uh, forearm, the other part of uh, the resistance band. And now you move your left feet in the same line, yeah. yeah. Good posture, not like this, yeah. This. The Ponceo Nagyo is not about pulling and using the arm, yeah. It's about the core, so squeeze, Contract the abs, that's it, yeah? Move back, yeah? And start in position. So, step, sushi, get back. Common mistake is to step back. Don't step back, why? Because the opponent can counter you using uh, another techniques. So, when you do this, the opponent with your leg, or by instinct, will attack your leg, uh, trying to take you down using Osoto Gari, for example. Yeah, Osoto Gari. I will teach you probably in, uh, in the future. Or using the the Ashibarai, right? The Ashibarai, the Ashibarai. So many combos. Yeah? So I'm here. The shoulders level. Good tension. Step. Uzushi, boom, squeeze your arms, yeah? Involve the arms, the core. Get back. Inhale. condition now, but trust me, it's a good cardio exercise as well. We involve the abs, especially the, the upper side of abs and the obliques. So, it's not about pulling using the arm strength. It's about involving the obliques here and the upper side of abs here. The next thing, this hand this way. To unbalance the opponent pulling his arm, the other hand is, the other hand is gripping the collar. So collar and lapel. Let's see. Okay. So doing this, you will increase the. You'll be more explosive and uh, gives you a lot of confidence because doing these repetitions you will start to understand the, the movement uh, you will develop the, the speed and you will be of course confident hopefully successful in uh, sparrings or uh, competitions yeah uh, you can use Another ropes. Yeah. This is the heaviest. Which I have. It's very hard if it's 
this is not soft, trust me. If you do a few times with this, it will be very good for your uh, strength, uh, strength, uh, it's a great strength uh, workout, and it's a great cut. Yeah, here, so don't be here, the posture is very important. You have to be here. And don't be on the toes, the heels touching the floor. 